This is a glass hotel room in public, a wooden horse mansion, a $1,000 a night resort in a crane, and I'll be staying in all of them and more, starting with my see-through glass room. Staying here is actually free because it's probably the least private hotel room in the world. You don't get any privacy at all. Starting to feel like an animal in the zoo. Luckily, you do get a normal bathroom and you can order room service. Thank you. But that doesn't mean people are going to stop taking pictures of you just because you're eating. Oh my gosh, look at this guy. I could never stay in that. What is happening? And at night, it doesn't get any easier. The lights never turn off and people will definitely be watching you while you sleep. They really make you feel like you're a celebrity. But this is only the beginning because we still have nine of the weirdest hotels on earth to get to. And our next stop is a hotel in a crane. Yeah, that is my hotel tonight. It is massive and it's really expensive for one night here. So it better be worth it. The only way to get to your room is on this small elevator. I'm a little scared, honestly. <laughs> This is your very unique living room. Is that an egg chair? Here's your bathroom. These are hot lamps. And there's an electric guitar. This has got to be the most unique and interesting hotel I've ever been to. Up the stairs is your luxury bedroom. This feels like how a king would live. Feels luxurious. <laughs> <clears throat> There's a bath up here. This is insane. Oh, yes. Now we're talking. And there's uh, even a peacock next to the bed that watches you sleep. Later, I went up to the top of the crane to see the view. This view is crazy. And it gets extremely windy up here. But what's even crazier than this crane is... A hotel inside of a horse. This building has so many features I never could have imagined. You might be wondering, how do you even get into the horse? The answer is obvious. There's a drawbridge in the horse's butt. Talk about a back door. <laughs> uh, yeah, let's go inside. <laughs> the inside really makes you feel like you're traveling back into medieval times. You've got bunk bed one and bunk bed two. Fireplace to keep warm. Really cool dining table. I have no idea what this is. And the most magical room is right up these stairs inside the head of the horse. This room, or uh, the head, can move using this handle. Just pull it up or down. Whoa. Okay, we're going down, going down and going up. It's like your hotel room has its own theme park ride. This is insane. In the morning, hotel staff will ring a bell when your breakfast is ready. They bring you this basket and you just have to pull it up to the kitchen with the horse's pulley system. Time to eat. It's crazy that we still have seven more hotels to get to and everyone keeps getting weirder. Like this illusion hotel built to trick your eyes. But next, this is the world's first video game hotel. But what does that even mean? Inside is every gamer's dream, a lobby filled with video games of every kind. First, you check into your room. This room is huge. It has enough space for all of your friends or uh, yourself. And then check which gaming consoles came with your room. I've got a PS4 and Xbox in mine. Now you can head to the lobby and pick out whichever games you want for your room. They have basically every game imaginable here. All right, got my favorites. If you get bored, you can even go play in the arcade. In here, they have all the classics on 25 different machines. There we go. Or go check out the PC gaming lounge. It's filled with super advanced gaming PCs. You look like the saddest stormtrooper I've ever seen. So we've stayed in a crane. We've had time to game, but tonight a hotel in a plane. I'm sorry, I'm starting to go crazy. I need to sleep. I've been going to so many hotels. I'm going insane. Tonight's hotel is a real airplane that's been converted into a five-star hotel. It's actually at an airport, so you can watch planes take off all day. You even have red carpet stairs to walk up to the plane. They've really turned this plane into a super nice home, basically. You have not one, but two couches. Pretty nice. TV number one, coffee maker, your dining table, TV number two, a hot tub bath, and maybe the most insane thing about this whole plane, the plane has a sauna. I've never seen a hotel room with its own sauna, not to mention a plane. At the back of the plane is your bed with a heart made of rose petals. This would normally be so romantic. Uh, so my favorite room is in the front of the plane. This is the flight deck. It's been restored to basically look exactly how it would look if you could actually still fly the plane. Watch it actually take flight. I've always wanted to do this. This is so much fun. What's crazier than the plane itself is the amenities it comes with. If you're ready, we can just start the engine. Yeah, I'm ready. Are you ready? Yeah. This is Dick. He's a genius pilot and can take hotel guests on private flights around the Netherlands. On this small plane. So you're a famous uh, YouTuber? Uh, maybe not famous, uh -huh. but I am a YouTuber, yeah. You get to see a lot of uh farms and uh wait are those sheep hey, thank yeah. you so much yeah Dick. thank you thank you the next day i stayed in a train it's just an old german train that's now a hostel and you can even get a massive room with triple decker bunk beds on each side i'll be honest the wi-fi was not great here so i brought along the world's smallest tv for entertainment i put a bunch of funny animal videos on there 
But I have to rest up because we're about to see the most famous hotel I've ever been to. And not for a good reason. This is the worst hotel in the world. Seriously, there's a real book on Amazon all about it. Welcome to the most horrible hotel in town. It's been voted the worst in Amsterdam by its own management. And still today, people say it's pretty bad. Mirtha says, do not stay here. My bed was a little weird. So I'm here to see if the beds really are a little weird. The halls definitely make you feel like you're walking in a prison. Let's see how bad this is going to be. Here's my room. It doesn't have much. You have a bed and a chair. That's it. I checked to see if the bed was actually clean and... I don't think I see anything gross. I guess the room is fine for a night of sleep. It just gives you this weird feeling, but I survived the night. Soon I'll be visiting a hotel that literally messes with your brain, but first, this is one of the weirdest buildings you will ever see. It's like if the Hulk took every house in a neighborhood and smashed them all together. CNN even says it's the most unusual looking building on earth. So you might be surprised that the inside is actually extremely boring. It's just really normal. You have a bed, a desk, and a TV with YouTube. So I went out to explore and found my new favorite store. They only sell ducks. Like, that's the only thing they sell. Like the Incredible Duck, Darth Quack, Chew Quacka, Harry Ponder, Donald Duck, Angry Duck. But the best one of all, the one I bought, pizza. It's the pizza duck. This next hotel is easily one of my favorites, a capsule hotel. They're basically bunk beds with doors, but the ones here are huge. You get an entire queen size bed. I've actually stayed in a lot of capsule hotels over the last year, and I really think this one might actually be the best. I've been in a space capsule, a library pod, an AI capsule, a luxury pod, a capsule on a train, and now a capsule that's like massive. You can change the lights with an app on your phone. There's a Bluetooth speaker built into your room and basically an entire closet's worth of space to keep your stuff. But while a really good capsule hotel in Japan costs around $30 a night, this one costs more than a normal hotel room. Why is it so expensive? I guess you get this cool common room with a bar and ping pong. And there's a cat that can distract you from your video editing. The next morning I had breakfast at this totally normal table. I'm just a normal looking dude with my normal looking coffee. It's so normal, right? Wrong. This hotel room is completely upside down. Completely upside down. When you first walk in, you feel like you've entered another world. All the furniture is connected to the roof. So the fireplace is on the ceiling and the TV is touching the ground. And the bed is also the table. Yeah, this is weird. The bed table was pretty comfy. Honestly, the more time you spend in here, the crazier you start to go. Why is there a dog on the ceiling? Luckily, the toilet's not on the ceiling. That would be bad. It's like you're staying inside of an illusion. Honestly, whoever designed this place is a genius. At a million subscribers, I'm going to build my own micro hotel. Maybe it'll be filled with messy Legos on the floor, a hotel room in a pool, or a hotel of 1997 Subaru sandbars that I randomly found. So subscribe if you had fun and want to help me make that happen. Love you guys. And you, Pizza Duck.